Hey everyone, it's Sarah here. I hope the connection sustains. Um, I am excited and <laughs> petrified of what I'm going to share with you right now because there are some things that I never shared with anyone before, but I feel the more that I'm observing and the more people that I talk to, I see that there's the gap between the reality and expectations. And I feel like a lot of you might be spinning in circles thinking that you're keep digging up the same thing and keep dealing with the same thing and all you want to do is keep moving forward like that colleague of yours like that role model of yours like that um other coach other consultant other service provider that you have been admiring and aspire to be like who seemingly has everything going for her or him and uh it just feels like you just can't seem to go anywhere <laughs> look i've been there um my clients have been there and the fact that a couple of my clients who came to me and they said Sarah we need you and I was like what can I possibly offer to you you have everything going on for you and when they opened up it was the farthest from the truth they were just as messed up as I was and their businesses on the back end were just as messy as my was um, but the point here is that before we go into all the details behind it, I just wanted to let you know that whatever you're experiencing, you are not alone and you are not the only one who's going through it. And sometimes it feels like you're going through the same thing over and over and over again. And I can tell you that if that's the case, it's because you still have things to learn. You still have things to deal with. You still have things to, um, go through in order to be able to get to the next step to the next level to the next chapter so with my story when i started out my business in 2011 everything seemed to be so easy it was so exciting and my business grew hey i have someone here hi how are you um because i had fun with it and also there was a drive that was still in me from the years of being an athlete of showing up, doing the work, um, that endurance, that perseverance, that, oh my gosh, no obstacle was too big, right? And then also I had a baby on her way and I was at the deadline that was not mine. So there were a lot of things that needed to happen. There was no option B. And after she was born, Again, our business kept growing and uh, it was really easy. Um, I had a whole new why. I was motivated in a whole different way. And everything was falling into place. There were mistakes that I have made, of course. There were challenges that I had to overcome, of course. But it seemed so easy. And the team grew and everything was awesome, right? And I remember at the time I hired... Um, somebody to get me to the next level and I will never forget we were doing some mindset work and I was sitting there and I was like what does that even mean what is that even stand for what am I supposed to do with this piece of information it does not apply to me it you know it was just ah oh. so take this and keep put it on the side because there's gonna be <laughs> a lesson out of this so it felt like I wasted the time and money. And I know a lot of you have been through experiences when you hire somebody um, hoping for those amazing results. And you feel like at the end that nothing happened, nothing changed. And there you are still going through the same circles. And I know how frustrating that could be. Again, I was there after my second daughter was born and after I overcame postpartum depression which is something that I speak about really openly. Hey, Natalia. And I feel like it needs to be addressed. It needs to be spoken about. And it's not just postpartum depression. It's any other um, thing that we don't see what people are going through. You know, when you have an injury, when you're um, handicapped or in a wheelchair, that's visible. But what's going on in your on the inside without visible traces sometimes it's really hard to talk about to justify to communicate 
but it can affect you on so many levels. So that affected me and my ability to really show up for myself and show up for my family and show up for my clients. It affected the business and I felt a disconnect um, between where I was on a personal level and where I wanted to take the business to. And even that vision wasn't really, really clear because I came from a background of really technical um, and know-how approach to now having to be a thought leader and being looked up to as somebody who empowers and inspires and um, shows ways that are different than actually does things. And it was that jump that I was not quite ready to make and I didn't know how to make it. So, and remember investing in all sorts of strategies. I remember doing everything by the book and the results, they were there somehow, but not quite, right? So I know how frustrating it can be when you're thinking about, well, I'm doing everything by the book. I'm spending left and right. I'm investing left and right. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I am doing this live stream. I'm posting here and I'm responding there. I'm doing that outreach, but I'm still not seeing the results that I want to. And all there is, I'm burning out and I'm starting to doubt in myself. I'm starting to doubt in my capabilities to really do what I know that I'm good at. You know how that feels? But on the outside, you still have to show up as if everything is great. And I was just on a call earlier today when that exact thing happened. I was talking to that person and they were telling me how everything was going. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I'm so excited for you. And they said, well, it's not really that awesome. I like, ha, I know. <laughs> I know how it is on the outside and how it messy it can be on the inside. So it opened up a, a space for a whole different conversation, for a whole new energy. So with that being said, you know, when you are then showing up on the outside world as you have it, you know, somebody who has it all figured out, who has everything going on for them, you're creating the disconnect and distrust from the people who are looking up to you. And uh, I'll never forget when I finally was sat down and somebody told to my face, like, you need to let it go. You need to come clean. You need to step forward and you need to just let go and tear down that wall be real, be authentic. And I, it's like, what does that even mean? You know, how? And um, I remember at the time I was going through the phase when I felt called to really support other moms and businesses because eventually I was a mom, I was an entrepreneur, so I thought it was a good fit. But what I figured out was that when I allowed others to tell me how to show up and what to do, that all of a sudden I was in that space, confined box when the words that I was using were too big. The energy I brought was too much. The um, philosophies were too complex. The approach was just too much to handle and I need to tone it down because Sarah, remember, now you're talking to moms and right? I was like, that doesn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like I had to censor myself. I had to tone myself down. And um, in part, yes, it was authentic because all of a sudden I had the permission to be at a playground, live streaming from a playground where the kids were screaming and running around because, hey, that's what moms do, right? But on the other hand, it was like, you can talk about business models, you can talk about profitability, you can talk about the mindset, you can talk about this and you can talk about that because what moms need to talk about is time management. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> it really did not work. And it was just a phase and it felt at the time that I had to go back to the square one and trying to figure out what is that I even stand for? What is that I even do? And it feel, felt again frustrated because there I was investing yet another strategy in yet another consultant in yet another coach. And I felt just as lost, right? But the thing was that every single time I came at full circle to the square one, trying to figure out what is that that was going on. It was like a spiral going up and higher and higher and higher because seemingly same issues that I was dealing with, we were dealing with them at the whole whole new level with a whole different experience with a whole different perspective and my energy was completely different 
every single time and every single time I was able to believe in myself more I was able to be more of who I am and how I am and how I work and what I believe in and how I speak how I show up but the key here for you to that I would like you to take away from is that all of those things are necessary they need to happen because you can sit behind your desk you can write about it all you want you can think about it all you want you can talk about it all you want unless you do it you are not gonna get the clarity and when you are doing it alone you're not gonna get the feedback that you need in order to course correct because I have to tell you that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the support system not just at home with from my husband and our families and friends but especially from those in industry in the business who have walked that path who have been there who have had the same struggles who have gone through the same experiences and some of them have never experienced those and they were able to have offer me a different perspective and it goes the same you know when I mentioned a client of mine who has said how can I even support you it was um, that I did not even realize that I had something that I wanted and it was in a different capacity it was the path that I did walk that they have not been on yet and they wanted my guidance from it so it was another piece in the puzzle um, and when I started to realize that it also started to make sense that how all of a sudden when I was invited on different um, webinars and seminars and workshops and presentations and I was sharing the stage with people that I used to look up to and admire and I was like oh look at those you know putting them on a pedestal and now all of a sudden there they were standing right next to me and I was like do I even deserve to be here what have I even created and what have I even done to be here you know and it was that again the doubt and uh, the belief that I had that I did not that I wasn't worthy of being there and I know a lot of women entrepreneurs as much as men entrepreneurs when you look at your own business and when you know the mess behind the scenes you feel the same way like who am I to do that who am I to be able to commend those prices to present myself in that way to really assure that yes I can do that for you I can create those results I can lead you down that path I know how to get you there I know how scary that can be sometimes and thank you for the likes um, but the thing is you do know because of all the circles that you have walked because of all the breakdowns that you have had because of all the mess you had to clean up um, and because of all the help that you have reached out to and accepted and experienced you have it in you you can totally do it but you have to give yourself permission to do it so what it really comes down to you know I talked about mindset and I talked about tactics and I talked about strategies and I talked about showing up and doing the work and uh, putting in the hours and working around the clock from 7 in the morning to 3 at night <laughs> it is required all of that you do need all of those are pieces of being an entrepreneur but sometimes you burn out and sometimes you start doubting yourself and sometimes there you are again at square one trying to figure out what's the next thing and that no longer serves me no longer supports me and I hear it every single day from entrepreneurs who are at multiple six figures like I am hitting the wall I don't know where to go from here I have this idea I have this vision I have this mission I don't even know if I can ever achieve it and that's the time when it's time to take a step back and really reevaluate things. And again, I wouldn't be here talking to you if I wasn't going through that myself when it was time to take a step back and like, okay, right? What do I need to let go of? <sighs> can I really dream that big? And giving myself a permission to dream that big. And I can tell you when you take stand for yourself when you step into that energy when you assume that role when you allow yourself to become that person it's like riding an elevator the glass elevator right when you are 
at the floor level and I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna use this example <laughs> because it's so fitting um, a couple of months ago my husband and I took the kids to New York City for a couple of days and we were walking the streets and you know how it's noisy there's a lot of people walking down the streets there's cabs driving back and forth and you have to watch that you're not run out run over by a car or a, uh, somebody on a bike or a horse in a carriage it's just noisy and smelly and it's just the energy of New York if you haven't been there you either love it or hate it I personally loved it but it was such a great analogy because then we at a hotel we were staying it was so much higher up that you got the clearer view you are no longer in the hustle and bustle and the crowd um Todd I'm reading your comment here you are who you believe you are oh my gosh every single time and I didn't even get to that part <laughs> I'm yet to talk about it um I'm so glad you brought this up so stick around it's coming up um but when we were at the hotel room 30 something floors above the ground level the view was so much clearer the noise all of a sudden quieted down um there was no crowds and that's what happens when you are when you allow yourself to get out of the trenches of your business or your life and you disconnect from the oh my gosh the all the technicalities and all the little pieces that need to be handled and how that needs to happen the sequence of it to happen you all of a sudden can see clear picture and again I'm coming to you from experience of being there remember I started out as a virtual assistant taking care of those details was my job but I was not able to see the bigger picture the possibilities for my business at the time because I was so involved in all the nuances and all the <sighs> technicalities but as you evolve as you grow as a business owner you are gonna come to a point when like Todd said here you are what you think you are because at one point you will have to make the decision you will have to make the decision between continuing down that path working until 3 in the morning figuring it all out or allowing yourself to become the CEO of your company and if you choose to become the CEO of your company, you will have to shift, you will have to change the way you think about yourself, the way you think about your company, the way you think about the possibilities, your big vision, the ideas that used to scare you, but now you know they're possible, that you're totally capable of creating them, you're totally capable of calling them in and receiving them and accomplishing those things and impacting those people and changing the, those lives and changing the culture changing the world I know for some it might seem scary and big but it is possible and again I know it because I have been pushed beyond my own limits to I was challenged to create it to think about it in those terms and when you do all of a sudden things are not on the ground level on the very technical part are not holding you down anymore they're not pulling you down anymore and yes there are still fears that you're gonna be facing at that higher level just as much as you have at the beginning level but it's gonna be from different experience from different perspective and you now have a different approach to solving those issues to overcoming those obstacles to breaking those patterns to it's I wish I was able to put it in words because the feelings are just so strong oh my gosh um, I wish you could feel it here with me um, but as recently I did that live stream in one of the groups that is there just to push me <laughs> beyond my zone of comfort and um, I was really challenged to think big and think deep and go deeper why am I even here um, why is it what I'm doing so important to me and I gave an answer and my response the response was like no that's not it that's too small like whoa what <laughs> and it all started like I said um, when I hit that wall when I was like I don't know how to solve it and I was so involved with the how that 
I really needed somebody to lift me up, but that somebody came when I was willing to listen. And you know how I gave you an example with a couple of years ago, I hired a coach, we were talking about the mindset and we were talking about the vision and so on and um, letting go of the fear and releasing of the fear and I was like, what is that? What did I just pay for? It, it did not make sense for me at the time because there were still certain experiences that I need to go through. There were still certain <sighs> disasters that I needed to walk through. There were still messes that I needed to clean in my life and my business to get myself ready, to get myself to the level where I was able to see that. And I can see it with my clients every single time because it happens that somebody comes to me and I have this big vision for them. I know it's possible, but if I say it out loud, hey, oh, you're gonna be changing the world. They're like, oh, no, <laughs> I'm not ready. So I think the beauty of the work that we do, we get to do the privilege that we have to work with clients on many different levels is that we can hold the space for them and then guide them and give them exactly what they need. And in my case, I think I feel so privileged to be able to be there through different levels. Um, I can be there for them on a very practical level of the execution with my team. I can be there on the bigger picture with the strategies and um, mapping it all out. And my team and I can be there at the highest level in terms of the mindset and belief systems and building the confidence and allowing them to really step up and show up as CEOs of their businesses to dream big, have that big vision and know that it's possible for them. Um, so I, what I'm communicating to you here is that wherever you are, you're there for with a purpose, you're there with a reason. And when you look at those who seemingly keep surpassing you, know that behind the closed doors, behind um, the curtains of their own businesses. It's not always as beautiful. It's not always as messy. But just because you are dealing with fears, you are dealing with challenges, you are facing setbacks, it does not devalue you. You are the only one who devalues you. you are